No Context Britain, a series in which we take a look at the best of British culture. What I thought it looked like inside the Euro Tunnel when I was six. I was so disappointed. I thought, it says when I was six. I thought it looked like that when I was probably like 13 or 14. Because I remember I went on a, a school trip to Disneyland Paris. I know it's not, not a very educational trip. I don't know why we went. I think we just went because the teachers wanted to go to Disneyland and they probably found a way to write off as like physics or something. But anyway, we go on the Euro Star and I'm like, oh, it's going to be so cool. I, I'll be able to see all the fishies. Bearing in mind I am 13 slash 14 at this point and I was so disappointed when it was just like a boring tunnel. Have a cardboard cutout queen over for lunch this platinum jubilee. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that one, that's not weird. That's not weird at all. all right, so we got some Mr. Kipling mini sponge tarts, uh, a nine pack for £7,147.03. And, and luckily, they've reduced it from that to 79p. What a bargain. How did you make that mistake? How did you accidentally <laughs> How did you accidentally list mini sponge tarts? A pack of nine, to be fair, so quite a lot. You're getting quite a lot there. But still, I think £7,100 is reaching a bit. Expectation versus reality. Okay, so we got a nice portion of, of cheesy chips here. The sort of cheesy chips you can expect to get at, at the Binley Mega Chippy. And then you've got... The, that's just tragic. But you know what? I don't believe it. I don't believe that. I don't buy that. Because those are quite clearly McDonald's chips in a McDonald's box. I'm not buying this. I'm not buying they order cheesy chips. Only 22 countries have never been invaded by Britain. And they're here, you know. It's never too late, boys. It's never too late. How did you achieve that? There's, there's barriers... That how do, and if he did, he must have hit that at some pace to be able to just, I, I guess, clip through it. How's he still alive and walking? Sean Paul, my nan, is from Coventry. Isn't it mad? Like, Sean Paul from that E-Boys video's nan is from Coventry, which is where which is where Binley Mega Chippy is. So that means when Sean Paul was over at his nan's house in Coventry, he might have gone to Binley Mega Chippy. <laughs> I, I saw I saw someone had to an intern had to apologize for this. Don't apologize. Don't ever apologize for telling the truth. British ah, oh, to be fair, to be fair, that, that, that looks brilliant. If I went to a party, because most parties you go to, like, they have like pizzas and stuff out, which is I mean it's all well and good. It's all well and good. But if there was some some, some, some turkey dinosaurs, some curly fries, and some ah oh, but ah oh, some spaghetti, oh It'd be class. That's what I'm doing for my birthday. This is what this is what my birthday party will look like. Sleepover with miniature horse Basil. I like the name Basil. I it's a per it's a, I'd say it's a perfect name for a miniature horse. I'm not sure why. It just is. I would take up their offer of having a sleepover with miniature horse Basil, but unfortunately, I am allergic to horses, so I don't think that would go too well. Your timeline has been blessed with a rare Tempe friend. I was like, what? What? That's that's a rare artifact from an ancient civilization, aka the 1990s. <laughs> What? Because of this? Oh, and I thought normal cyclists were dickheads. Bro, bro's going to work. He's doing his morning commute on a fucking penny farthing. Oh, get over yourself, you wanger. What is the point? What is the point? He's not even bothered to go in a cycle lane. Oh, this is probably one of my favourite Twitter exchanges of the year. Liam Gallagher tweeted, What are you saying, Carrie, you bellend? And Jamie Carragher responded with, I'm saying you'll never win the Champions League. And Oasis are shite compared to the Beatles. That worked. And for some reason, Specsavers decided to chime in with, Calm down. You've both got the same number of Premier League medals, which is true. And so, okay, so, so No Context Britain, the, the Twitter account, tweeted this out, and someone replied with, nah, man, this ain't right at all. And just, you screenshotted a tweet. The Birmingham or Brummie accent is perceived as the least intelligent British accent. It even scored lower than being silent. That makes sense. That makes a lot of fucking sense. Heartbroken mother dolphin won't let go of her baby's body. And, and Marilyn decided to uh, comment with, so sad. A lot of people could learn a lesson from this dolphin. What could they learn, Marilyn, exactly? What could, what could, what could they learn? <laughs> <laughs> 12 celebrities who share the same face with fictional characters 12 Daniel Radcliffe and Harry Potter Wow, that is that is some observation Around the world cyclist arrives in UK Has, has bike stolen outside of Reading Weatherspoons two days later Yeah, that sounds about right Lyrics from Sweet Caroline that Brits know Most of the lyrics, Sweet Caroline, da 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 You see, I know most of the lyrics they were just in my head. I swear, I swear they were just, I know the lyrics to Sweet Caroline. They were just in my head. I've forgotten them now. Um, was in the spring, da, 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 da. Then spring became the summer. Who'd have believed the... 
didn't have any frozen berries, so I've used frozen veg. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's going to have the same effect as frozen berries. What the fuck? Mr. Blobby Tasty Biscuit Made with Natural Color. What the fuck is that? It looks like shit gammon. If you remember this, you're officially old. I don't, so I'm 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 still I'm still a youngster. I've I've never seen a bus that looks like that. When did they get discontinued? Yeah, I can't find the date these were discontinued, but I've never sat in one of them. But I mean, I have sat on a bus, but I haven't sat, I haven't sat on one with this this color configuration. This is such. I was speaking to someone about this the other day. I miss that feeling of some. It's really weird, but the feeling of some. It was it was like a reassuring. I don't know if anyone else felt like this when they were getting their feet measured at Clark's. But it was like a reassuring feeling, like someone was like holding your leg and they put this like plastic thing up to you and they put the strap around your feet and then they push the thing up. Your feet felt really snug and it was re it was reassuring. 380 grand for a chef. Welcome to London. I, I mean, let's see where this place is. Uh, see what the location is like. Because 380 grand to live in uh, as absolutely fucking insane as it sounds is uh, not not a bad pro i mean it is a shed it is how big is it 300 square feet it's a shed all right is it at least a good location no it's in hackney you can't park there mate and it's a picture of a car in the window of argos when did argos online start doing drive through and why didn't i know about this obvious joke from Lindsay. ha 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 argos replied with hi Lindsay. thanks for contacting us it's the first time i've heard of this as far as i know we don't where did you see this you're joking argos aren't you hello clock my name is lillian this drive -thru <laughs> it's not nationwide. It may be individual stores or maybe a trial. Please do. What's that? You just denied it in the in the previous tweet and then it said, oh yeah, it's a, it's a trial thing. Drive through Argos makes no fucking sense. How would that make sense? <laughs> a man grows pineapple in Huddersfield. That probably doesn't sound that remarkable, but I'm, but I'm guessing you need like a particular climate or something to grow pineapples. But well done, Edward. I'm, I'm happy for you. I hope you enjoy your nice pineapple. He doesn't know it, but <laughs> me and this guy race on our walk to work every day. <laughs> Today you got the edge on me because I had to stop and tie my shoelaces but usually I pip him just before the T-junction. Never spoken to him but he's a good competitor. A good kid, strong walker. One time he stopped in to get I think a Lucasane from a Londis and it was the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me. I fucking smashed him that day. I feel as though a lot like when, when I used to walk to school when I when I was a wee lad you you had like competitors that you, that would walk the same way as you that around the same time. You had competitors and you had to beat them. North London, Central London, South London. All of London. That's all of London being realistic. There's parts, there's little parts in each bit of London that are really nice but for the most part it is it's not it's not great I still think it's the best city on earth uh, because most cities are shit there are some really nice bits of London but a lot no, yeah no a lot of it's not not great not places you want to be walking at night particularly memory unlock are, are, do they not do fruit polos anymore this, are those not a thing anymore if so i can't say i'm all that upset they weren't great like were they like you pick one up out the packet and it like make your fingers all sticky and you put them in and I, they were like the type of sweets that would give you fuzzy teeth do you know what i mean not very hungry tonight just a bean on toast for my dinner fair enough feel like shit just want to be abroad queuing up for one of these two right two right i've been craving this I'm, i've been dying to go to like a fucking all-inclusive i haven't been to one since i was like seven I just want like an all-inclusive holiday in like Turkey for like a week and just uh, just to chill. Just to chill and use the toast machine. Woman wakes up to find neighbour has hung washing out in her garden. Oh no, what did she do? That's trespassing. You can't do that. You can't hang washing up in your neighbour's garden. God, I hope she sued her for everything she has. Ah oh, yes, what a man. What a man. Look at that posture. Look at that ability. A god amongst men. Living in Birmingham isn't stressful at all. Gary 20. That's just the pollution that's got to him. Flat to rent 15000 £492 a month and it's student friendly which is good and to be fair to be fair have you seen how much money some international students have it is it is insane like, I used to live in a building that was like a new build and I, I, I'm pretty sure it's by a university or, or, or something it must have been because there was a lot of students that were living in that building and they were they were Balling out. They were wearing like Louis Vuitton, Gucci all the time. And there were students. I I did not understand it. But yeah, so I can't imagine uh, uh, paying 15 grand a month to live anywhere on rent. On rent. You don't even own the place. On rent. It doesn't even, it doesn't even look that nice. It's, I mean, it, look, it looks fine. It looks like it's a fine looking flat. But 15 grand. No. No. No chance. Nice. Sitting in the bath with um, a, a, a can of Smirnoff cranberry. Lovely, relaxing. But I don't know why he's felt I need to post this on Facebook. But regardless. Why do you put a chuck on your feet? So don't burn me feet on hot tap kiss it doesn't look very comfortable it, um, <laughs> it doesn't look very good oh, why don't you just actually no if you flip the other way then you burn your back okay i see what you mean but you could just cool down the tap if you finish uh, drawing the water that's a posh way of saying like pouring a bath drawing the water okay anyway but you could just run like a bit of cold water and it would cool down the tap why, why, you, don't, you don't need to do that in loving memory of hugh davies who used to sit here and shout 
fuck off at the seagulls. I saw a news article about this because they, they took down the plaque. Yeah, look, a rude plaque for a man who hates his seagulls removed by officials. Happy to be a one-star pub if this person's idea of a five-star pub is anything to go by. Looked okay from outside. Too many local unknown beers to choose from. What's inside though? No Stella. No Stella! Ah! Cronenberg, etc. or any popular global beer. We stayed for one pint and left to a proper pub that does well-known beers. Bit of a hippie slash trendy crowd too, which wasn't impressive. Also, barman was far too enthusiastic <laughs> and excited about selection of beers. Surely that's a good thing. Do you, want, do, you want, do you want the barman to be depressed about the selection of beers instead? Recipe, use two cloves of garlic. Me, yeah. Yeah, a lot of recipes say, like, use one clove of garlic. What the fuck's one clove of garlic gonna do? I'm gonna use four. And even then, you can't even taste the garlic. What the fuck? Yeah, Cor PC game, Coronation Street, the mystery of the missing hot pot recipe. A fun and iconic hidden object adventure game. Hmm, okay, I need to find a bit of, find a bit of gameplay of this, maybe. Whatever, let's just use hint. Let's get this over with. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me when you press in the coronation theme just plays. To be fair, it looks like a banger game. I play. You know, I'm impressed by this image. I don't know how she's managed to fit in there because I remember as a child, not as a child, as someone else, I don't know how old I was, probably like 12 or 13. I tried and sit in one of them seats and I was not able to, and I was not exactly a big kid. It's very impressive. Well done, Nana. Nothing like a good old pint of tea in the sun. I mean, I don't even like tea to begin with. I know, I know. I, I say that in like almost every single one of these videos at this point and people don't believe me but I don't, I don't fucking like tea it's weird it's like weird hot squash but a pint of tea in a in a in a in a pint glass. No, no way. No chance. <laughs> Parents baffled by London's dullest flavor around. That's just one yellow piece of metal. I don't even know what that piece of metal is supposed to do. Is it a, a climbing frame of some sort? I'm not sure. It's not a very big climbing frame. It's just, it's just a piece of metal. Britain and France in the 18th and 19th centuries. Britain and France in 1904. I saw a tweet like ages ago. So probably about a year or two ago. And I think this was when Corona and, and everything was just kicking off. And I think, I think this was when, uh, do you remember when like we started like beefing France? for that like tiny period because they like they did something to do with fishing boats or some, something boring. Someone said something along the lines of we need a war with France to boost the morale of everyone. And to be honest, I agree. I wholeheartedly agree. A good old war with France will lift the spirits of everyone. This was a mad stage. That, did, did this actually happen? Surely not. Surely that didn't actually happen. Because you just know off camera, they weren't doing any of this shit. They, they were hugging without the, the plastic... Thing. This was all for show. Rum, this series was originally aired in the 90s and early thousands and may reflect the language and attitude of the time. Fucking hell, it's not that long ago. Was it, what could Brum possibly have said that was so offensive you need a warning like this? Mum left buzzing after finding seven inch long chip in bag of oven chips from Lidl. That's just that's just too big. That's an unreasonably large chip. You, you re really, do you need a seven inch long chip? Would having a seven inch long chip even be a pleasurable thing? I don't think so. I, I, I'd take three. I think a three inch long chip is is the perfect size not the best name for a rap group the nonce yeah i mean i don't think they really thought that one through i don't think, do you think they googled what the word nonce meant before they but I, what else could it possibly mean <laughs> don't let your boy pee like a gal yeah because that is way more natural than sitting. there's nothing wrong with sitting down and pissing i do it all the time as a treat for myself if i've been working hard pissing in a weird plastic frog with a big mouth is, is way more unnatural wait what the fuck not big on tradition get it go your own way no fuss low clock cost cremation. A grand! A, over a grand to get cremated? A grand? Okay, I'll just, just like cut me up piece by piece and shove me in the oven. <laughs> Guy price 400 grand, it's just a fucking boarded up house. To be London, it's London. It's, it's probably the cheapest thing you're gonna find. Kebab pizza? Huh? That, okay, that looks sick. I, I, would, I would have the kebab pizza. Where can I get the kebab pizza? Just a man on the bus eating raw mints. You fuck, you gremlin. Although I don't see any proof of him eating the mints. I just see a half open packet of mints. His mate could have texted him and been like, Oi, Gary, get on the bus. I've got uh, I've got half a packet of mints if you want it. And he's gone, yeah, yeah, sure. I'll, uh, I'll be on my way. I want that half packet of mints. Comedian James Corden to leave his CBS late night show next year. And he's coming back to the UK. And you know what? Everyone hates him. I'm not the biggest James Corden stan in the world. But, you know, I, I, I have a prediction. James Corden is going to go on a hero arc in the next, like, five years. People are going to love him again. I, I swear. That's This is going to happen. <laughs> How do you Nuts! Oh! Oh! Classic, brilliant. Nothing's gonna top that, let's be real. So I I'm gonna leave it there for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in a bit. Bye.